when the northern lights drifted south, a rare and spectacular sight. The northern lights, also known as Aurora Borealis, are one of nature's most magnificent displays. They are usually seen in the polar regions of the Earth, but on a few rare occasions, they have been seen as far south as the equator. In this video, we'll explore one such event when the northern lights drifted south in an unexpected way. Number 1, What are Northern Lights? Before we dive into the main topic, let's first understand what northern lights are. Northern lights are the result of charged particles from the sun colliding with the Earth's atmosphere. These particles are mostly electrons and protons that are energized by the sun's magnetic field. As they collide with the Earth's atmosphere, they produce a dazzling display of light in the sky. The color and intensity of the northern lights depend on the type of gas that the charged particles collide with. For example, green and yellow colors are produced by oxygen, while red and purple colors are produced by nitrogen. Number 2, When the Northern Lights Drifted South In early February of 2021, residents of several U.S. states, including Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, were treated to a rare and unexpected sight, the Northern Lights. While it's not entirely uncommon to see the northern lights as far south as these states, this event was unusual in several ways. Firstly, the intensity and brightness of the lights were much higher than usual. Secondly, the auroras were visible much farther south than usual. Many people who have never seen the northern lights before were able to witness this breathtaking display of nature. So, what caused this unusual event? The answer lies in a solar storm that occurred a few days before the auroras were visible. Solar storms are events that happen on the sun's surface, where massive amounts of energy are released in the form of coronal mass ejections CMEs. These CMEs contain charged particles that can interact with the Earth's magnetic field and cause geomagnetic storms. During such storms, the auroras can be seen much farther south than usual. Number 33, The Science Behind the Event to understand the science behind this event, we need to delve a little deeper into how the Earth's magnetic field works. The Earth has a magnetic field that surrounds it and protects it from the solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles emanating from the Sun. The magnetic field acts like a shield, deflecting most of the charged particles away from the Earth's atmosphere. However, some particles manage to penetrate the magnetic field and interact with the atmosphere, producing the northern lights. During a geomagnetic storm, the magnetic field becomes disrupted, allowing more charged particles to penetrate the atmosphere. This results in a much brighter and more intense display of the northern lights. The reason why the auroras were visible much farther south than usual is because the disrupted. Number 4 Finally in conclusion, the event when the northern lights drifted south was a rare and spectacular sight. It was caused by a solar storm that disrupted the Earth's magnetic field allowing charged particles to penetrate the atmosphere and produce the northern lights. While it's not entirely uncommon to see the auroras as far south as Texas, the intensity and brightness of the lights were much higher than usual, and many people who have never seen them before were able to witness this breathtaking display of nature. The event also serves as a reminder of how connected we are to the rest of the universe. The sun's activity can have a significant impact on our planet, and we need to understand and study it to be prepared for any potential risks. Lastly, events like this remind. Thanks for watching.